So for today's video, we're going to show you guys how we're installing our inverter. And this is going to be how we install inverter on, you know, a new generation. This is a 2016-2017 uh, Freightliner Cascadia. It's going to be pretty similar to other trucks. Um, some of the trucks don't have this complete uh, bolt underneath the bed, like the Volvos have the split over here. So I mean, you can just always move your inverter to on that side. But for this for this uh, video, we're going to do the Cascadia install. Um, right here, we have a power drive inverter that we uh, got at Love's with our rewards, and. Unfortunately, we only chose 1500 because uh, at the time when we were working for US Express, they had a 1750 inverter max policy. So that's why we only have 1500. Otherwise, it would have been 2000, 2000 watt uh, inverter that we would have chose. Um, during our home time, we had got, um, we bought the wires. Uh, we chose a zero gauge in case we wanted to go to the 2000 watt inverter. What's a zero gauge? Uh, zero gauge is the thickness of this wire. I don't know if you can see, but this wire is, is pretty close to the size of my, my finger, finger size. And this is from um, Home Depot, right? No, it's not from Home Depot. I got this on eBay, but I got it from a reputable dealer it's called uh, New Concepts. And I used this uh, when I was installing an alarm on my on my car. Um, you have to be careful what zero gauge wire you buy because sometimes they, it could be a zero gauge thickness, but it'll be more rubber than wire. So you wanna make sure you get a plenty enough wire if you're gonna be running like 2000 watt inverters. Uh, we just got red and black just for coordination. Um, you could just get all black, it doesn't matter. Uh, we just I just get it because that's the way I, I like my things. I, and I also ordered um, these zero gauge um, connectors um, from New Concept as well. They got a set ring on here so you can always take them on and off and they just fit rightfully so on this. They have a little screw, screw. on here yeah. so I, I like to take it out and this is, you know, it's a pretty easy install. Uh, especially if you don't have no tools, um, you know, you pretty much you want to push as much wire in there, and um, I like to just twist it just because um, I can ensure most of this wire went in there, and then you want to make sure you get the the rubber sleeve in up into the crevice of this up into this connector. And now. I know that this wire is all the way inside. Um, I'm just gonna make sure I'm gonna push this wire into this into the thread so it doesn't interfere with me screwing this in. Run it down snug. I don't like to really overdo it, but I like it tight because the vibrations in the truck, you guys know, everything just starts to loosen up and we don't want that happening with this. So it's nice and tight. I do a little pull test, nothing's coming out. Um, what we did was um, we drilled a hole, drilled two holes right here onto the side. You want to zoom out, Peter? Uh, you could uh, show them how this is uh, more like uh, set up. Uh, this is the right there. Okay. So we, we did two holes right here, one for the black wire and one for, for the red wire. Um, it's a grommet and you don't have to do this grommet, it's just more I, I, I've been installing, you know, car radios and alarms for my, my time, and I, I just like a, you know, professional appearance other than 
just uh, a hole that's cut and you know after so much chafing you know it's gonna you know bite into that rubber and pretty much we have enough wire to just connect right here and enough wire to connect right here uh, another thing I wanted to show you guys is how I ran these wires into into the truck um, right now what we did was we um, it's underneath the carpet this is underneath the carpet right I drilled two holes so it just goes through I didn't cut the insulation or anything yeah one hole here and then one hole there <coughs> we through the insulation, the insulation uh, and then lifting this up and we just we bought one of these little plates electrical plates um, it has this little ceiling around it so no water will ever come up and then we use the gland connectors on here the wire gland connectors and that's how we brought them in into the cab um, these are uh, these wire gland connectors um, these are pretty cool um, they have a little lock nut at the bottom so on that wire plate um, I just drop this I drilled the hole big enough for this dropped it in go underneath the truck put this lock nut on it so it won't ever come out and then this little top portion has a uh, some rubber on here so that once you feed this wire through water will never come up through here because this this is pretty much locking you know any moisture in there and this is made out of stainless steel so um, this will never corrode um, no matter how much salt or anything so I just chose you know for that instead of regular steel I, I have bought this in a pack um, I forgot to show you guys how I mounted this inverter on here but it's uh, pretty simple um, I just used a cardboard cutout of the box of the inverter and I drew how the bracket was on this back side and you can see I have my you can see I have um, you know nuts and washers on here I mean nuts and um, the nuts and bolts here I only have three I know I'm missing one because I had ran out of bolts but um, I'm gonna get that on um, put it on later and that pretty much securely mounts this on this is not this is not going anywhere alrighty guys um, right now I'm putting uh, the wires on the wires are still not connected on the other side it is not connected to the battery I'm gonna repeat it is not connected to the battery so these two can touch all day and it will not shock so I want to put that advisor on there do not connect the battery until the very last thing and once you're ready to connect the battery make sure you connect the ground first and then connect the positive I'll repeat that it is not connected right now the only part I'm connecting the wires to is the inverter and these are the nuts that came with this inverter and they work just fine I mean we could have used a little bit longer bolts but this this will suffice And then you can see it's um, it really looks like a professional install um, it's a really professional install I just got to tighten these now and then we're ready to go on to the next part yeah. all right guys uh, we're ready to do the portion that goes underneath the cab if you're wondering how it get underneath uh, we got a little space between the fuel tank and the mud flap and you can kind of crawl underneath here so I mean just don't have anything nice that you're gonna go underneath here so um, this is pretty much how I get underneath here. I like to have the truck off. Um, I just don't want to hear that shit rattling while I'm under here. Just take your time. It's not for big people. It's not for big people. So, uh, yeah. Alrighty, guys. So, as you can see, I'm underneath the truck. Most pleasant thing to be underneath here. Brothers over there. They didn't make it. Couldn't make it. It's too big. It's too big. I mean, really, you can make it, but um, for two people, no. Um, 
as you can see this is where the wires start out uh, this is where we're directly underneath uh, the bed and I ran the wires right here along with all the other wires and airlines go to um, I wish I could zoom up more for you guys but you can see wires start there go all the way there the wires are right here guys and you know I just zip I fastened on my you know zip tie the same way they zip tie these here these airlines um, if you really want to um, I, I plan to do um, these wire clamps um, these are three quarter clamps and when you double them up they look like this I mean you, and these could be fastened to the frame rail just like this but right now I don't have any more bolts and washers to do this setup so I'm going to have to do this later on um, anyway so back to where the wires are going and then you can see that red and black wire they just branch off up there and that is where the battery goes um, like I said just get some nice zip ties and you can just fasten this all along the frame and you can do this relatively very quickly and secured um, I left some slack uh, make sure to be leaving some slack for these wires here because the cab is gonna go up and down like this so if you leave it tight you know you're gonna put a lot of stress on your wires and eventually um, you're not gonna get the same performance and you know wouldn't be surprised if your wires get cut out or anything like that um, so on to the next thing alright guys so um, right now we're ready to uh, connect the battery connect the, uh, the wires to the battery um, we're still going to use the same um, new concept uh, connectors zero gauge connectors um, you are going to need a fuse a fuse similar like this um, this mounts up to the battery this is for the positive um, this has a 300 amp max bus I think uh, C something was the name of the, uh, the company that I, I got this through but um, you're gonna want a fuse based off of the size of um, based off the size of the, inverter. of the inverter correct thank you PJ um, so for this we have a 1500 uh, watt uh, inverter to be at least 20 percent of that right uh we're gonna use 150 amp uh fuse okay. if you yeah so if you need if and if you wanted a thousand uh, watt i'm pretty sure you only need a hundred a hundred amp if you want two thousand you need two two hundred amp okay um so anyways um this fits up pretty easy right here so that's a no-brainer uh, once you take this nut off and you know you secure it it's a no-brainer problem is is this one I mean they're the same size is that it doesn't fit it's just slightly the stud the stud on these negative terminals are just a little bit big I mean I could really get it on there if I really want to but I'm just gonna just open this hole up a little bit with the drill Seems like we got success now. You gotta make sure you don't leave any of this exposed. It's nice and tight on there. Yeah, I'm ready to tighten this. Uh, don't forget to push these strands in there. 